Okay, now that we have our page uh, showing the data, uh, let's add a form and uh, add a way to add more items to this list using Vue.js. So I'm going to add a little div here. We don't need an actual form because you are not sending data directly from form to backend. We are going to use AJAX and the data inside AJAX is going, going to be uh, taken from Vue.js objects. So we don't need any real form here. And uh, I want to add input here. Mm, with a class to form control and uh, let's add a placeholder here and call it name and we also need to add another one call it year and to work with them, we have to add two more values here, variables, book name and year, I call them name and year and we need to have a button and the class would be btn btn dash primary and add let's um, let's add some style and the width to be 100 peaks so when somebody clicks on this button we are going to react to it and add the data that is in here and to this Array and hopefully it would show up in this table because there's two-way data binding in Vue.js and when you add something in, into this array uh, it notices that and shows it uh, in this um, array in here and then it will appear in this uh, TR list so the keyword is the two-way data binding and it, it means that when something change in one side it will appear in the other side and vice versa so let's add another method add hook it's a function we are going to call this function and uh, let's do an alert adding new book just to show you how it's going to work and let's come back to this button and call this using v dash on click equals to add book let's save everything and let's run the project I don't need other tabs, let's close them all and um, let's add something here, it doesn't matter and I'll add, there's a bug in my code, let's see what is console saying add book is not defined um, add book is not defined, yes there's a typo in my code let's save and run it again okay it's working right now and let's click here and as you see adding new book is showing up which means uh, when I add any code to this method it would be called after user clicks on this button and let's add another class here um, 
three would be enough. Let's refresh the page. Mm, let's add five. As I really want to have some space here. Mm, it's not refreshing. I'm not using the. Yeah, I'm not using the rendering autom automatic rendering here. Um, that's something that we need to add now. Uh, we are seeing the page much better and let's um, we can split the screen this way we could work with the HTML part and the Vue.js part easier and for this class I'm going also to use M2 uh, or MT2 and MB2, which means M top, and margin from top, margin from bottom, and let's uh, add the same thing here because we don't want the margin from left and right, and three would be enough for us today. Let's save it and let's refresh the page. Because in which in ASP.NET Core 3 and later, the page um, renders to a DLL file and compiles to it actually. You don't see the change immediately when you refresh unless you add another library to, to your project, uh, which is what we are going to uh, do later on. But for now, let's just run the application again. It's a very lightweight application. We can always refresh it this way and see if it's working. I really don't like to add much noise to project as much as I can because I want to, I want to focus on what we talked about, Vue.js, MongoDB, and it's with the core. And um, anything else we can add later after we finish uh, with that. So let's call this and it's working. And now let's add a way to add this data to this uh, area in, in, and see how, how it works. So let's go back to this method. We don't need this alert anymore. It was just for testing. Um, I have this habit of adding VM or virtual uh, or view model and with this way, I, I think this is a better way to implement any code in Vue.js. It's much easier to understand what is going on. And this, uh, this right here uh, points to this app. But later, if you use any Ajax code, jQuery code, that this would not be pointing to Vue.js anymore. It would be pointing to um, jQuery object or any other object that you may use. And that's just uh, something that would break your application in many ways. And let's, uh, I, I, I have a habit to add this, the first line of each function I use. Um, I learned it from NACO days, days, uh, NACO JS days, uh, back in the days when we were, we were using that framework, that library. And Vue.js in many part is similar to Knockout when you are using this kind of application. So now let's uh, create a new object and call it new book. And it's a um, JSON object, obviously. And there's a name which is equal to vm.name. And there is a year, which is equal to vm dot year. And um, we also need to have a price, which is for now it's zero because we are not asking it from the user. We are just, uh, I'm, I'm going to just I have the same object that I am showing in this area, which is 
the data that is coming back from the server and in the server side we have this price field uh, uh, in, in, on, um, and that's it let's uh, now add it to this array this array here that we have we have this books array and we want to add new book to that array and we can do this by using a splice I like to add things at the top so a splice would be enough a splice and let's add it at the beginning and remove nothing and um, the new book is what we are going to add let's save it and now let's run the project again so there's something wrong with my code because I'm seeing this and my Vue.js code is not working let's go to developer tools and check it out mm, yeah there is a problem yeah I always forget to uh, do this um, I, it has to be like this name here and price and this is, this is because I'm using C sharp in the back end and JavaScript in front end. And in C sharp, we have to do this the other way. So let's run the project again. Mm, now it's working. Let's add learn F sharp mm, and it's going to be 2021 and add it. Mm, it kind of works, but doesn't work. Mm, we have to find the problem and the problem is I guess in this area mm -hmm. we have to set the model for uh, these two and let's do that so um, I have two data here two data values here and I have to set these two input to bind to them to do that, I add a view dash model and set it to first name and set the other one v dash model to the year and save and run the project again. So let's add learn F sharp and twenty twenty one and add it now it's working and we see the data if you add it multiple times it would be added to the first line you might want to add to it to the end which in that case uh, instead of using splice you can use push um, but usually you want to show the new data in the top area of your table that's what i think better ui design or user experience but it's your choice now that we got our front end working it's time for back end and we need to send this data uh, using ajax to our controller in here um, it's not going to show up in any database uh, and after we refresh the page but I can use debugging to show you that you're actually sending data from front-end to back-end and I'm going to do that in the next video